Good morning, I'm Daniele Bartolini from Dopo Lavoro Teatrale, and I have a video that I want to show you just to begin. Yes, I'm here for the package. Thank you, guys. I apologize, there are lots of press quotes because it's a promotional video uh, that I use for, for pictures usually, but I think it kind of like uh, give a sense of what the practice is with, um, uh, that I do with my company. And I'm here to talk to you about The Stranger today, and I would like to talk a lot about the process that we did with Toaster Lab for the last iteration of the show that we had. So The Stranger is a show that is designed for an audience of one that is lost uh, in the urban landscape. And um, the audience of one is left, uh, that's how the piece begin, is uh, you're left on your own at an intersection. Uh, you have no information about the piece, you just know that you have to uh, meet, meet with someone, but you don't know who. And I think that this is uh, uh, the, I think it's kind of like one of the key points of my work which is actually um, the absolute uh, subtraction sometimes that I think achieves actually an activation of every element of the city. So if I would have to speak about um, augmented reality, which I'm not an expert, but in, sometimes the process that I've activated in order to uh, augment reality is actually su to subtract all of the elements of theater. So we're speaking about um, costumes, we're speaking about uh, you know, actors that you recognize uh, down the street. So that in that moment, if you uh, find yourself to be uh, going you know, to work or getting a coffee with a friend, you're actually in the piece because the audience is uh, left in a suspense, in a, uh, suspended, wondering who's, uh, who's the person that they have to encounter. Um, the Stranger relates to my personal experience. I think that's also why the, the show is designed for an audience of one. It's because... Um, I come from Italy, and I found myself originally, uh, when I first immigrated to Canada, to, I found myself often on my own, working, uh, walking on the streets and being, you know, curious. So at a certain point, I, I thought that this could, uh, could become a piece, and not only, I later found out that uh, there are many shows that I've done so far, but this is kind of like what I insist in searching. It's um, the audience having a freedom of agency around the public space and around the city so that the show becomes really an act of reappropriation of the public space. 
and it comes with, uh, it's a funny relationship, I think, with technology because uh, um, technology is great because it allows myself, you know, to speak with my family, for example, back in Italy anytime I want, but at the same time, I don't need to tell you that it isolates us, right? So the, the show, it's also an attempt to put away your phone and actually reconnect with your surroundings. Um, so The Stranger, um, the dramaturgy that we have, it's uh, composed by lots of questions, and we call our work audience-specific, because it's really driven by the audience, and we try as much as possible to make the audience a part of the narrative that they experience, to a certain point that sometimes the, the, the show becomes really a platform for the self-expression of the audience. And um, I think about three years ago, in 2016, Ian and I uh, met. Uh, it wasn't our uh, idea originally to meet, but it was Michael Rubenfeld who encouraged us to, to get together. Because um, um, one, a few problems, I would say, that come with my work is that um, it's, um, it's not really sustainable on many levels. Because we only have, we perform for eight hours and then we have uh, um, probably 11 audience members, you know, that go through through the show. So at a certain point, we were reflecting on the producing model, and we and we thought that maybe a way to disseminate the work it could be through VR technology. So that's how originally we started, and using the dramaturgical structures, we we've been doing lots of experiments, um, and I think we found out that probably the dramaturgy that we create, it's it is. It, it's good in, uh, I mean, it's good, I would say, it, it's good to be in a dialogue with, the, with this kind of technology. Um, so the idea that, that we followed at the beginning was to take segments of the show, of The Stranger, to have the actors uh, performing their scene in front of the camera, because we were trying to achieve this idea of, uh, although you could not interact because you didn't have the privilege of like responding, which is the, the main characteristic of my shows, um, you were still immersed somehow, and you had the trying to reach this feeling that this thing is happening really for you and in that moment. Uh, so this uh, October, uh, we actually had a new edition of the show, The Stranger, that we brought back. That for the first time was uh, uh, created for two audience members at a time, and that's when we um, we had the idea of actually putting you know some of the research that we've done with Toaster Lab over the course of these years in uh, in the show. And um, the process has been uh, really interesting because actually we didn't end up doing anything that we, were, we had done before in the sense of performance speaking with the audience, but we ended up doing a silent, uh, almost like a silent short movie. Uh, that unfort is, it is it going to be possible to see it today at some point or no? Probably not, okay. I'll try to describe it to you. Um, so the idea is kind of like that you are uh, fully immersed in a 360 uh, setting. And you have, the way that we have, we've created this, uh, this subplot of three women uh, which kind of like hold the, the earth together. They're kind of like protectors of the earth and they're mothers of one child, just on a metaphoric level. But the piece, um, it unfolds with um, having constantly the three performers around you doing this action. So I think I found myself watching the movie over and over, and actually you could watch it. Like I think it's something that is very interesting about um, this technology is that it allows you to experience something many times, even if it's not live. And I found myself even being the creator, like watching, being focused on only, you can watch the movie only being focused on one specific performers. And uh, it's kind of like a, almost infinite than the movement that you can do um, in, between, uh, in between every section of, of the show. And um, I think that uh, often I, I've seen that uh, um, the VR technology for the, I don't know a lot about the technology, but what I've seen is that it's used almost like as the beginning, as it was used in the beginning of cinema to create like an effect that almost like uh, surprises you, almost like a magic. Uh, what I'm interested in, in using uh, VR, it's mostly actually in, create, in trying to create intimacy with the audience and also um, to generate, that's what in the show really did, I think, 
to generate like a, an introspective journey for the audience, because that's how The Stranger was, uh, was, um, was really, th that edition of The Stranger was really more of a meditation. And I think that the VR technology actually, like to put a, the VR set and to really allow the audience to really go within themselves even more. So I'm just um, curious about experimenting more and uh, to be working again with Toaster Lab and thank you so much for, for your time listening. Ha 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 ha!